how did she get there? Well, I guess that's a separate question. No, it's really well, not. She, we didn't use a queen excluder. Okay. Well, the fact is that she did. She did. And we really don't want her in the honey super. Not so really. we're in there. You know, maybe we don't want to use a queen excluder. Then so okay. be it. If we see the queen up in that honey super, let's move her back down. Yeah. Let's take her, take her back down into the established brood nest. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. If you don't want to use the queen excluder, then that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. So we've got a frame that has brood on it, now obviously, what do we do? What in do we some do? way. I would personally, and this is just, I think, and we want to answer how we would personally do it, is that um, we would put that queen excluder on it just to prevent, evidently she's feeling like she's not got enough space. We'd address the space issue below because she's needing more space. It's obvious or she wouldn't have gone up. We'd address that, then we'd put a queen excluder on and prevent that. But then we've still got that brood that's developing up there. What are we gonna do? If we've resolved the space issue that caused her to move up in the beginning, then that brood that's up top, it's gonna to emerge. It is. Uh, those bees are gonna become good, happy girls and go about their business. And uh, that will return itself to being a, a full-fledged honey super. It will. The bees will clean that up as long as the queen does continue to go up That's top right. and lay. And she will be inclined to if we don't do something to to ensure her to not do that. So space. I mean, she she obviously moved up there for space. She needed the space, and the queen excluder wasn't going to stop her. And sometimes a queen excluder doesn't stop her, but we can we can use it for that to help ensure that uh, she won't get up in the honey. Excluder. And it's always it's always um, interesting to think that sometimes the best thing to do is is nothing. <laughs> Let her do what she if wants to do. If you're okay with her being up there, yeah. maybe instead of harvesting 10 frames of honey out of that particular super, you get eight yeah. or seven or right. nine, yeah. but your colony is still growing. You're, you've got a, a classic, mm -hmm. beautiful frame of brood up top. Maybe she wants that space. Maybe, maybe that's going to become a third deep. It depends on where you are in beekeeping. Yeah. Are you producing honey? Are you producing bees? Is overall health of your colony most important? That helps determine what your answer is. Yep.